morning, everybody. Ma Terry here from beautiful Quartzsite. Miss Lucy, would you like to say good morning to everybody? Yes, you would. Oh my gosh, always something to do. Say good morning, Miss Lucy. She's under a lot of thick blankets. It's a cold morning. We probably woke up, you know, the you go on the weather thing and it says 40 degrees and uh, I turn on my car and it's like 35 degrees. We're not believing the apps, or, you know, we think they're lying. We know, we can look at a thermometer and see what the temperature is. Okay, anyhow, there is so much to do out here. Oh my gosh, I'm not kidding. Whether I'm meeting pe up with people or um, this morning we went out to breakfast, uh, Kate and I did. It was uh, ham, eggs, pancakes, uh, coffee and orange juice. How much did we spend? three dollars that's it three dollars oh my gosh you can live like a king but um i went a little nuts yesterday and i'm not i'm back <laughs> i'm going nuts today beads lots and lots of beads now i'm going to show you some of my beads this guy this is what you're going to find okay they're literally like over at the rock jam and mineral show the powwow there was um 500 plus vendors so Every, and these people come year after year after year. Why? Because they make money. Everybody knows, you know, come out here and get the bargains. All right. So look at this strand of bees. And this is some sort of rock. I don't know what it is. But the guy's old. He's been doing this forever. He's going out of business. 75 cents a strand. Can you get anything like this at Michael's or Joann's? No, you can't. Um, I bought um, a couple of rocks. Shh, don't tell anybody. When I say rocks, I bought uh, my whole family uh, beautiful uh, Labrador right necklaces. I spent a lot of money. So he's looking at my beads. These are really expensive bead, 75 cents. So I always find the ones, I mean, I walk and I walk and I walk and I walk until I find people that uh, are going out of business. So if you're a new subscriber, this is what I do. Whatever's in front of me at the moment, this is what I talk about beautiful shell beads. I'm going back for more of these today. These are orange shell beads. I hope you can see. My gosh, we got a little glare going on, don't we? They're beautiful. 75 cents. You had to buy 100 strands of beads. Well, you know what? If I was at Joann's, that would be like 10 strands. I'm getting 100 strands of beads for $75. Look at these. Think of all the beautiful necklaces I can buy. The bargains are out here. Best time to come to Quartzsite is uh, early November, uh, through uh, March. What's funny is that's when I leave Bullhead City. Once uh, April gets there, it's too hot. I can't camp in my van anymore. Um, I don't like it. I go to the beaches in SoCal. Um, yeah, where it's nice and cool. But anyhow, I'm over at Tyson Wells. Someone asked me, what is Tyson Wells? Uh, after I'm done with this one, I'm going to drive down the street. Get here before at nine o'clock in the morning talk about a traffic jam oh my gosh just trying to leave here i am in a primo position and all i have to do is just pull forward and i'm out i'm at the entrance so yay you know a lot of people like this guy's backed in he's not backed in he's head forward so now he has to back up with cars coming constantly and try to back out so i got the prime position anyhow so much to do so much to see here i mean you have all these shows going all the time cheap eats are everywhere it's just absolutely amazing to me it's the greatest show on earth whether you have people making a living on top of their vehicles like i showed you in the short before i mean they're just making little dog tags or little uh necklaces or something donation accepted of course we all know what that means uh be kind to them but uh, a woman that travels with her parrot in a Kia Sportage, was it? They're doing it. Here's where you make the money. Okay, but now here's my fair warning. Let's say, like me, I make earrings. Okay, I make earrings out of soda cans. But let's say I bought these beads for 75 cents and I wanted to make earrings out of them and sell them here. You may be going to get 2 to $5 for a pair of earrings, maybe 2 for $5. This is not what you do. Uh, you learn your skills out here. You buy your beads out here. I'll tell you about learning your skills out here in a minute. But you create out here. You can plop down for five months on BLM land, okay? Or <laughs> do what I do, just stealth camp. It don't matter. Or go to Long-Term Visitors Association and uh, pay $180 for six or eight months. Whatever. 
take the classes here. Classes to learn how to make beautiful wire wrap stuff and how to cut cabs and everything. Classes range where you take your classes at and what you want to learn from $4 a class. I know, are you kidding me? $4 a class to $15 a class. Oh my God. But uh, it, it's absolutely amazing. Make your jewelry here. Learn your techniques here. Like me, uh, Kate, she picked up this beautiful... Uh, tree wire wrap tree with little pendants on it not pendants um gems on it and everything beautiful and the woman's selling it for fifteen dollars here in quartzite and it probably took her a good hour to make one and it's like are you kidding in breadlands they would pay 45 dollars for it so you can set up camp here make your stuff here you can sell it here if it's not rock related okay you'll these vendors they come back year after year after year but okay so you can make all your jewelry here learn the techniques here and go to your small town in the summer and sell oh my god i'm going to sell so many pairs of earrings you know i really am so uh this is the place this is a happening place you got to look around where the bargains are you can live cheaply i meet so many people that are living on social security they're living on 500 bucks a month and uh, like they said the secret is they're not driving around much and the reason why i like the small town of quartzite is everything's within you're either on main street or Kewin street I, yeah, and a little stuff is on Central Street, but everything is close together. If I was in San Diego, let's say I want to go to Hobby Lobby, it's five miles north. If I want to go to Michael's, it's 10 miles south. You know, nothing is Panera Breads, another three miles. Well, okay, so true, we don't have any Panera Breads. We don't have any uh, uh, out here in Quartzite. We have no Panera Breads, no Michael's, no Joann's, no Hobby Lobby's. All we have are small businesses, small businesses, that's it, and really nice people. So I was at the senior center. Yes, it's true. I'm a senior having lunch, and for a couple of days, I talked. Uh, we've been talking to Gene, very nice elderly gentleman. <laughs> like people will say, you're elderly too. Well, he's 80, so he's like, can I buy you uh, dinner? And we're like, sure, of course you can. And we told him about Outback Pizza. Well, you know, he's telling us these amazing stories and everything. You know, he's an amazing human being and uh, we're having a great time. But I got to go. I got to get some more 75 cent beads. And uh, <laughs> then uh, Simply Lisa is setting up a camp. We're all going to go out there and camp together on Plumosa Road. So that'll be a lot of fun. So if you're thinking, well, I'm just sitting at home doing nothing. Come to Quartzsite next year. Uh, plan on getting here early November. There is so many opportunities. Opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. Cheap living. What more can I say? All right. And wait a minute. Come here, Miss Lucy. Wait a minute. We got to do something special for one of our viewers. What do we got to do, Miss Lucy? Huh? What do we got to do? Do we got to give you a cuddle? Do we got to give you a cuddle? Yes, we do. Oh, look at that. She loves a good little massage. All right. We will see you all down the road. Have a good one, guys. Bye. By the way, I just wanted to say something. Like a tale of a couple of campers. I live in a Sienna minivan, but my girlfriend's freezing. She has a van uh, comparable this size, and it's like, my van is so warm in here at night. It's in the 60s. We, you know, last night I didn't sleep with long johns on, no, no gloves, no hat on or anything. We're comfortable. Um, if you set up your van right, quartzite isn't out of the question. Follow my tips on how to insulate your vehicle. Like I said, it's just temporary insulation. I put up a uh, quilt and I call it Fort Bless. Oh, should I change it to Fort Sparkles because my van's name is Sparkles and I'm confusing people out there? So write it in the comments below. Should I call this Fort Sparkles? All right, now I'm really serious. Bye.